huge savings on petrol, environment friendly and low maintenance. All these qualities in a scooter should disrupt the two-wheeler market. But on the other hand, A man set his EV scooter on fire. He was quite outraged at Ola for first giving a faulty scooter and then not responding to his concerns. He had already gotten the scooter serviced by Ola three times before. In another instance, a man tied his Ola scooter to a donkey and paraded it around town. In fact, Sachin Getetu did the same. Weeks after one of its vehicles caught fire, prompting a government probe into the incident, Softback backed Ola Electric, it will now recall around 1440 of its electric scooters. Ola Electric has been in the limelight ever since its launch for both good as well as horrible reasons. But as the year 2022 progressed, the company has been able to grow its sales and popularity tremendously. Hello everybody. In this video, we are gonna know exactly why Ola Electric can either crush the EV two-wheeler market or be burned in its own fire. Before the concept of electric vehicles, the opinion of software and hardware related to automobiles were quite different. Software has very less to do with the overall functioning of the traditional fossil fuel based vehicles. With the introduction of Tesla and other such electric vehicles, the concept of improving an automobile's performance using software created a revolution and it was followed by the adoption of similar technology by two-wheeler electric vehicles in India. On 3rd February 2017, Bhavesh Agarwal, the co-founder and CEO of Ola, established Ola Electric during the ongoing craze and demand of electric vehicles in India. On May 2020, Ola Electric acquired an Amsterdam-based electric scooter manufacturer, Itergo. The present Ola scooter models are based on Itergo's technology and maybe due to this very reason, there were several cases of fire in the vehicle as the original technology of Itergo was designed for cooler climates of Europe, but India has a much hot and humid climate. Because of these fire incidents and few other reports of faulty functioning, Ola had to recall a batch of 1441 scooters in April. Apart from these incidents, there were a series of resignations in Ola Electric. In April 2022, the Chief Technology Officer, the Director Chief Engineer and reportedly a total of 31 top-level executives had quit Ola Electric. And on top of this, tough competition from the market made matters worse. The incidents, the resignations and the announcement of production shutdown for one week made it seem like Ola Electric was the worst mistake by such an inexperienced entrepreneur like Bhavesh Agarwal. But there is a silver lining. Despite these issues, in the last quarter of 2022, Ola is slowly making it back to the market. There are reportedly some software issues, but the company is trying to remove all such issues and delivering what they had originally promised. Ola has recently announced an affordable model of electric scooter, the Ola S1 Air. And the best part is, it is planned to be priced under Rs 80,000 in India. If this model goes successful, Ola can crush the competition and take the number one spot in the two-wheeler segment. It has the potential to not only diminish its electric counterparts, but can also eat into the sales of traditional scooties like the Activa. And signs of this reversal in Ola's scenario have started showing up. In September month, according to Wahan Portal's report, registrations of Ola Electric rose to 9,840 scooters, a whopping 183% increase from August month's sales. Continuing this trend, in October, Ola has a registration figure of 12,242 scooters, again a 24% jump from September month. With this, Ola became the largest electric scooter company according to number of registrations. While Ola became the highest seller of two-wheeler electric vehicles, it has beaten not only Hero Electric and Aether but has also crushed the market leader like Okinawa Autotech based on the number of registrations. Okinawa, 
which had a negative growth of 1.4% in September registration, is slowly losing the number one spot. Seeing the complete picture, Ola still has a long way to go. With the launch of S1 Air model, Ola has to win the hearts as well as the pockets of Indian consumers. Riding the hype which Bhavesh Agarwal and team has created, Ola Electric has to meet the consumer expectations by standing firm on what they have promised to deliver, fix the quality issues and be profitable with such competitive pricing. And if Ola can overcome these challenges, it has the capability of crushing the Indian market and revolutionizing the two-wheeler segment in the years to come.